Welcome to Aptos Covert, an indie horror game I found on Steam. Just a demo for now. And uh, looking interesting. Apparently there's knights involved. Hmm. Eh, it'll work, whatever. It's it's whatever the default was. Eh, let's check it out. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's not a PT clone. Hmm. Hopefully it's not unoptimized. Why couldn't you talk a little more directly? Okay. The small room on the right has a sensor device. Whenever a sensor on it blinks, you better start checking what's happening. Cameras with the TV monitor. Check the computers. Usually, they're just wild animals. Mm-hmm. Previous reports were about enemy soldiers trying to approach the outpost. Poor Wim must have been so scared of the dark. Whenever he saw a soldier, he went to the balcony. So it's like a FNAF game? There was this other guy too. He reported seeing his ex-girlfriend or dead wife or something. Did he have sex with her? I bet that when Black Yen was getting hit by her, whenever he saw her, he would hide in the lockers or something so. Okay. According to other reports, a little girl broke the woods. Oh, a little girl, of course. Yeah, right. I like that they try to explain how to play the game in lingo. I can appreciate that at least meta commentary sort of thing. They're saying, oh, well, if something here, you turn on the lights, if you, a little girl will sing and try to turn off the lights, and, you know, blah, 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 hide in a locker. The problem is, I've already forgot about what to do and, like, you know, when what happens. Oh, it's just so fucking dark. I gotta see if I can change at least that. Also, the graphics went to low for some reason. Okay, that's cool. Um, power must be on. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Alarm blinking. Look at the map. Check with spotlights off and flickery lights hide in the lockers, I guess. Flickery lights, whatever happens, hold your post. What? The fox? Ah, okay. Let's see what's around here. So it's a FNAF game, but with free roaming and a complete outside map. It's, I mean, that kind of thing is cool. But the question is, how do they get inside the house? Like, Cam 7 shows a barrel, let's say, and I am here. But what is here? What is the front of the house? Is it like... Oh god, there's even a basement. When I open the door, it's just so fucking dark. Oh, there we go. Flashlight turns on automatically after leaving. Oh, the generator's here. Okay. <laughs> oh. I was too late, but that was... Hang on. Hmm, a dead soldier. Blinking light. Wait, uh oh, wait, no. It's just alarm. Um, fuck. So wait, let me, let me reread the note. Flickery lights hide. Check the spotlights. Where is a locker? Okay, with that spotlight, I guess it's like, if we see something that's to scare it away... Wait, is the barrels there? <laughs> that... Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, this is the front then, right here. Which would then be... Okay, in front of this section too. Okay, 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 okay. So mapping-wise, Cam 7 is... Right... Cam 7 is like right here, has to be, and it's like looking at that barrel. Did it get 
get me through the fucking window? Okay. I'm not sure if I would consider that a bug. Mm. Yeah, I was at the halfway point, too. Okay. Power must be on. Yes. Alarm blinking. Alarm blinking. Oh, let me think. Um, right, can I skip this? Oh, thank God. Okay. We can't turn off the lights. Um, it's like that death. This is the confusing thing. Maybe the death was... He was in the house and he killed me. Or two, it was it's a bug and the and I died because of a bug and the developer has to fix it because I was close to the window and the monster killed me thinking I was outside and it can only kill me when I'm outside. I don't know. The map was blinking, but I don't know what that means other than maybe it means a monster has entered the area and perhaps when the blinking was happening, it was this light and that basically is telling you something is showing up there. Keep track of it. Follow its movement. This is where you are. The generator's right there. I I'll check to see what's in there. Um, a little. I'm, I'm gonna turn up the brightness a little bit, at least on my monitor, because it's maybe a bit too fucking dark for me. Let's see. Yeah. Much better. What? That's not. My God. Whatever. Oh, the lockers are here. Well, that's weird. I can't take it anymore. I'm writing this. I can still hear sounds, the metallic sounds of voice singing. I even think I'm hearing footsteps. I'm losing my mind here. You found a tape. You found a tape. Alright, so if the lights flicker, bolt it to that house? Kind of weird, but... Huh. I don't know what the beep, 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 up here. Jeez, they're not fucking tapes. June, entry eleven. Today I arrived to oh, here's the locker. At eleven a.m. So, <laughs> what? My Okay, bottom right. Something definitely should show up. I'm going to imagine the only way inside the house. Hmm. There, there it should be in every direction actually. Oh, there you are. Okay, so we have to figure out where this fucker goes basically. Is he going this way? Or is he leaving? As soon as we figure out... Okay, he's going... Towards the back. We have to see if... I have to figure out basically... Oh, okay, then it's in all directions. Oh, there he is, yeah! Where's... What the fucker's taking a detour? I think this is like the only way to use this light so he... He fucked off. Okay. Yeah, he's good. He's gonna keep going. What is making that noise? It's just like random ambience to fuck with me. I don't know if it's like after I scare them away. Also, something else possibly was showing up on the map. All right, so I'm sort of understanding how things work. The problem is I don't know where that soldier went. I have to learn the mechanics as we go on. It's a little... No, oh, there we go. Oh. Four. Is 
if any monster hmm. oh all right this should be the left 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 there you are you piece of shit hmm. where 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 damn it Cam five. Bullshit. Bullshit. Ugh. God damn it, man. Yeah. Unless there was another ghost I just didn't know about, because the the map alarm. Hang on, I have to keep my track of thoughts here. Um, power must be on. Alarm blinking. Look at the map. Uh, the the map. If I'm not here waiting for. For it. it goes away so fast. There might have been another monster I wasn't paying attention to. Because I swear I left the spotlight on where the fucking monster was. I looked here, or here, and I saw the monster above the cameras. So I went to cam 3, and I turned on the spotlight to make it piss off. So unless the lights were flickering and I just didn't see it? Hmm... Because the problem is, like, I don't, I don't know if looking in the monitor drains power. Shouldn't. I think what drains power is only the spotlights. Like, you need the spotlights to make it so they don't breach the house. That's fine. But unless there was another, mo what? I think it's just coming from this to try to spook, and that's it. But anyways, I only, I have to leave. I have to have the. The theoretical understanding of the game. One, monsters will only show up once the map alerts you that one exists. I might have missed one of the maps telling me the monster existed. There could have been two at the same time, which is probably what happened. Like that I knew there was one coming here, but there's maybe another one coming from the north, east, or south I didn't know about. Although I, I swear I saw the one on the, the south, but he was really far away. So there could have been three monsters trying to attack at the exact same time. This is night one, and it's 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 pretty hardcore at the very least. It's not easing you into it. I, I would think it should be a little bit easier just to get you the hang of things. So I'm using too much. I don't know, you know, guessing. Oh wait, what the? They can crawl on the fucking what? Oh, that doesn't help. I could. I could be getting killed by the basement. But this probably drains power. Because it's, you know, it's an electronic looking lever. Why does this even exist? How do I, how can I tell if they're... Like, the game doesn't teach me enough, unless that's maybe for another time. Let's hope that night two they'll teach me about the basement, and I don't have to worry about the fucking basement. Let's just, let's just hope. For now... All I need to know is, when I want to turn on the power, this one's for here, we'll call it north, and the rest are here. And there's a locker for if the light flickers, but I've never seen the lights flicker yet. I wonder if I could, what if I just wait here? What stops me from just staying here and ignoring the map? Hmm. Uh. Because honestly, watching the cameras, watching the cameras, hmm? watching the cameras feels a bit flawed. Because if you're only in danger when they're about to arrive, why not just watch from the top floor, you know? Stupid soldier again. We'll examine where he goes, and uh, we gotta test the spotlight. Let's just do it again. D annoying distractions. Alright, so it looks like he's possibly going down. Go we'll check out. Where are you? Takes him a while to travel to the next camera, though. Oh shit, where the fuck is he?
There you are, finally. All right, he's at cam 10, so he's definitely heading to cam 11. But if I miss the map alerting me to the next creature, that'd be problematic. He's not even there yet, though. Maybe I shouldn't even be up here. The map could alert me about another monster soon enough. Mm. I'll just watch Cam 11, and when I start seeing his silhouette, then I'll rush up. Oh, shit. I don't have enough fucking sprint! Yeah, fuck you. Okay. Now we have to find out how this works. Where does he fuck off to? How far does he go? He's going to the left. They, they physically literally walk away like little bitches. Like, oh, I was caught. Oh, no. Time to... Seriously. Annoying. I must find out if I see them walking backwards or not. Also keep track of the cam 3, 7, 2, and 11, just in case. Because I want to know if, like, after I deter them with a light, are they forever gone, or do they just walk backwards and then stop and come back? I don't know. So... <sighs> we'll find out. Oh. I saw something. But I don't see him. If I don't ever see him walking again... Because tonight has been really easier than the prior nights. The first time when I had died... Or, no, second... There's the three map beeps. I've only had the one. I just have to determine whether or not after I scare them, do I have to worry about where they go afterwards? Or are they gone forever? And they they just walk away forever. Oh, oh, wait, a shadow, silhouette. I saw a silhouette. Was it a monster or just light ambience? I'll speed ahead. I'm just the. If nothing happens, I'll just skip ahead then. Because the the map hasn't beeped at all, and I don't know where the soldier went. He, he would have been in Cam Eleven, but then he walked basically to the east of Cam Eleven. Mm. By the logic, I should possibly win, but it depends on how long I have to stay alive for. Mm. I don't know. All right. Let's go with the theory that as soon as we scare them away with the spotlight, they just fuck off forever. Let's go with that. Because it's... If they, it'd be so much more difficult if they fucked off. Let, let's say we scared them out of Cam 11, right? And then they walked to Cam 10. <laughs> and then they went to 8, and you know, and then they just went to the north entrance instead. That'd be problematic. Feel proud. This was a hard post, according to other soldiers. Soldiers. Many quit it because they were seeing stuff. Mm -hmm. Those wings don't deserve to hold a post like that. So, getting scared yet? Remember your training, soldier. Don't pick your panties now. What? You starting to see stuff now? Come on, you dirty dog. Don't be like the rest of the others. The guy that had this lift before you reported that the girl had blood on her shirt. I just think the poor guy got scared and let his mind get the better of him. We don't need cowards like that. Are you going to say anything interesting, or are you just going to go into this weird fetish of you enjoying calling people weird, uh... Weird... I wouldn't say weird names. Patronizing? 
let's just go with patronizing. What's that, soldier? You're seeing ghosts and every single other soldier keeps saying they see the same thing? Oh, you fucking idiot. Don't shit, piss, and come in your panties, you little bitch. What are you, a bitch, soldier? It's like, okay, do you have anything useful to say? Or you just, is that all you're going to say? I mean, that, that, that'll be my suggestion to the game developer. I mean, at least have something interesting. The first radio had useful information between the lines. This one was just... And it, no, it's not being me... It's me not getting butt hurt as if I'm being I'm feeling insulted, but it's just there's nothing useful about it. It's just like okay, I could just mute you then. I I don't need to hear night two. There's nothing to be learned, and I don't know about the basement because that is definitely a threat. There's definitely something wrong with this, but I definitely would use power. But the right. Okay. So we'll be prepared. Oh, oh, that one's fast. No wonder I died. Oh. Let's just have to see where they go and uh, then watch from the rooftop. And then hope we don't get attacked by, you know, two or three at once. Looks like they're going down to Cam 10. They're not moving as fast anymore. We'll see how long it takes for them to go from Cam 9 to Cam 10. Since they move in real time in the world rather than, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's where it's just like instantaneously from one camera to the next. They actually have to physically travel the distance. Oh, silhouette again. Maybe it's just lighting. It looked like they moved fast when they entered Cam 9 though, which is the weird thing. Maybe they aren't fast. Where the fuck did it go? Definitely has to show up eventually. Oh, there you are. Okay, so they're going to Cam 11. Slowly. Very slowly. Is that the girl with blood on her shirt? Looks more like a, a hospital. <sighs> Looks more like a hospital. Oh my god. But top left, okay. Top left. Likely they'll attack from there or the north. Come on now. Come on. Really? They teleported. So you're saying... They could walk all the way from Cam 9. Cam 9? Cam 9? Cam 9. They will slowly walk from Cam 9, but as soon as they got to the fucking fence, they teleported from the fence to the rooftops. Really? I don't know how much light I can inefficiently waste preemptively, but I do want to look at the cameras and find out where the one in the west is going. There you are. How sensitive are they? Because it drains a lot of fucking power. Come on. Really? So... So... The light doesn't work on the female? Wait, was I... Was, maybe? Did, did he actually say something useful about... Okay, I'm gonna re-listen to what he says. Even though it's annoying. More annoying sounding. He might maybe say something... Alright, I re-listened to the stupid message. They didn't say anything that would hint on how to deal with them. So we, we're going back to theory crafting mode. Um, the soldier, the male soldier, gets scared of the light. 100%. This bitch killed me before she reached the fence while the spotlight was on. I really wouldn't think it'd be a bug. You know what? I could also maybe check. Wait, uh, pausing the game doesn't pause the game? You What? What? 
power. The power is still going down? What the? It, is it just a bu another bug where it's just like the game's paused but the power still goes down? I'll have to double check that, I guess. I'll have to see if there's something like... Like if the map flashes and I pause and then it actually f pauses the world but it's not pausing my... No, it just doesn't pause. Alright, well... So we have to theory craft again. Do we... Did we die one? Because we're... I mean, I'm not outside. Did I die because I was looking at her? Or did I die because you're not allowed to flash the light and for her I meant to hide in the locker? I'm gonna assume I had to hide in the locker for that bitch. I'll assume that. Wait, was it in the top left? I might have already lost track of him. I'll look for him. But yeah, next time when they're about to reach the fence. I won't have the spotlight on, but I'll hide in the locker and hope I don't die. If I die in the locker, I'm giving up. <laughs> oh, it's the soldier. Okay. Well, this one, then, the spotlight should work. Yeah. Okay. He's moving a bit fast. Alright. But it's like, uh, they say light flickering equals hide in the lockers. So it's just like... The game... Oh, you fucking kidding me. The game didn't really tell me anything about, you know, how to properly handle the bitch. Usually at least they give you a hint or something, unless the first message said so. Well, wait, cam one. Is it the bitch? Shit. Ah, fuck, fuck. It is the bitch. Let's see if we die. There's no light flickering though. But the vents. Oh, maybe I did make the right choice. Okay, so that was a girl, not the hospital person. I got killed by a third ghost. Ugh, oh, my god. Um, all right, let me re-listen to night one. I, I probably will just, I will probably just give up now, but I'm gonna see if he actually gives me important intel. The bitch... So, here, the dead wife or ex-girlfriend or something. He would deny the lockers, okay. No. And the little girl, what do you do? Yeah, right. Then what? You tried to turn on the light and things for you? Yes. <laughs> what do you do? Okay, so they tell you about all three ghosts? So for the hospital gown wearing one you would hide in the lockers but then I die to the kid so how the fuck do I prevent the kid from killing me they, they don't say it they turn off the lights I can't turn off the lights I hid in the lockers and I still died I swear I would have prevented the kid from killing me unless something happened like I was meant to block her from here and it didn't happen properly I don't know. The game then doesn't tell me what I'm meant to do to not die to the kid. Or just they just don't tell you in general. Mm, alarm blink. I just wanna... Okay, top left. I don't... It's annoying. Not too many noises. Check the spotlights. Flickery lights hide in the lockers. I've never had flickering lights. How would I stop dying? 
How would I not die to the kid is my question. I really don't know. But I have to run in here? To avoid... Oh, wait. Metal rattling. Ah, the sounds were coming from the basement. He called me a pussy and left it off. Tonight everything was fine until I heard... What sounds... I was in the balcony. I was in the balcony when it happened, but I think it came from below. Okay, I could die from a monster since I haven't done anything. Okay. Presumably... To survive the little girl, you had to just be on the balcony and outside? But otherwise, the locker is for the... Uh, the, the hospital girl, as I dubbed her. Hmm. So if you're inside the house, the house becomes haunted with the little girl. But they don't mention closing the vent, even though I think closing the vent should be what you do. So I'm not sure if it's then... Close the basement vent and then go upstairs. Because the guy said, I heard the noises, but I was in the balcony. Then they're basically saying the guy didn't die and he happened to be on the balcony. So the balcony should be a safe space while everywhere inside the house becomes maybe temporarily haunted. But then what does the house being haunted or the little girl singing inside the house got to do with the basement? Because the basement vent closing... I, I, I don't get it. But either way, I'll just say that's enough for now. It's interesting... But I'm going to just presume I was right on that. I'd try a few more times, as annoying as it would be having to replay over and over and be sort of confused. They do tell you about the girl, ex-girlfriend or dead wife, at least, where it's hiding the locker for her. It's just unfortunate that I also I had the girl ghost come in at the same time as the child ghost trying to kill me, and I don't know how to deal with the kid yet. So we died to uh, the singing kid. We can just presume, yeah, you have to go to the balcony. But since it's a demo, I'll just leave it there. But if you enjoyed and want to see the full game played when it comes out, let me know in the comments below. But if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, big muff love scarf, and a notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Um.